So here is my attempt at creating this uh, 555 timer chip. Now this is uh, the particle board, like this right here. And uh, I just cut it out with my rotary tool here. So, this little dot indicates, you know, this is the peg 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? It starts here and then it goes like this. So this is like, I'll just call it the front here, okay? Now, there's two sides here. There's the part with the little yellow, or the, the metal parts here, the gold, or whatever color that is. And then here's like the plain. I'm going to put this here. Okay. And the, the leg that is not used, I am going to bend it like so to keep it from moving. Okay. Now there. So next is time to um, put in the the wires here. So I'm going to use this stuff here. This is going to be the, the conductive The conductive wire here. So let me uh, cut some lengths here. Okay, so I just grabbed a resistor and I'm just thinking this is like way too small. What I need to do is just kind of spread this out. This is not going to be, this is not going to be big enough. I am learning here. I am really learning here. Okay, so I've never done this before. What I want to do is have it going to go like this. Now, the way that this example resistor, I plugged it into the the board here. Actually, it's upside down, but whatever. It, this, so this this goes in through one, two, three, four, four, uh, four lengths here. Okay. So apparently, and this is why I I now realize that a lot of these uh, uh, PCBs the the particle boards they have like a like a little central area for a chip with a bunch of lines kind of spidering out uh, I'm gonna have to do that because I have some resistors going from like uh, from number six to number seven and it, it's gonna have to be four across in length for the the resistors to sit in properly so what I want to do next is kind of think this through more. It looks like I probably I'm just going to have to throw this piece out here. Uh, what I need to do is uh, maybe put. Yeah, I have to take this out. Yank this out here. Uh, bend this leg back here, and then pop this out. So I think what I probably should do is let me get this out of here too alright uh, just put this down and then kind of like maybe with a marker or something kind of uh, draw the lines where I want this stuff to go to and then go from there what I'm doing is pushing these into the board here, okay, and then uh, I guess wait, yeah, this is a uh, prong two, like okay, just gonna stick this into here. Like that, okay. 
this is basically how I did it. Okay, so between these two here, uh, this is going to go up this way, and then this is going to branch out this way and go like that. Okay, now this one's not used. This one has to connect to this one here. And I'll do that underneath the, the chip here, of course. Three, number three, goes out towards the LED. Okay, so this took a long time. I wired this up when I was uh, talking with uh, Rebels of Cloud9. Jared, we were doing a uh, Skype chat. And it was taking a very long time. So, I know this isn't really very clean looking. It's kind of messy. Sorry about that. But anyhow, um, I have been working on the Blackbird, but I need help with this here. Okay, so as per the, the, the diagram that I had done, okay, so as per the diagram I had done, number one, uh, leg number one goes to the negative. Okay, so this is the negative. Number two connects to 6 and also to this capacitor and then goes to the negative. Number 3 goes to the LED. 4 goes to the positive. 5 is not used. 6 has both the diode and a resistor here. Uh, these are both um, in line with each other, okay? They're both parallel with each other between 6 and 7. 7 has this uh, other resistor here going out to the positive and 8 goes to the positive. That's what I thought I had done here. Now let's, I'll just walk, uh, walk you through the steps here. So um, I had to wire or do the soldering on the, on the, box, uh, on the back here on the bottom and also this is where I did the wiring here. So when you see like the resistors have wires, I was just bending these down and then using those wires. Again, as per the notes that I have done. See, I, I, I knew this was not going to work. Uh, I, just, I just had a feeling it wasn't going to work my first try. So with that in mind, I guess I, I didn't get too disappointed when it failed. Okay, so again, one. This goes to the negative. Okay, so on the back here, I have soldered this, and then this wire here goes out to the negative. Okay, this is this is number one here. Number two connects to number six and also to this capacitor here. So n n number two here has a line, uh, the wire going up to this, the number six, and it also has this capacitor here. Now, the solder is not touching, so it shouldn't be bypassing or anything like that. This looks like I, I did a clean soldering job, I would think. I don't see any problems there. Okay. So, like I said, though, this wire is going to be coming out here to connect to number six. Okay, so number three heads out to the LED. And that's what this is here. So the third, I just have this soldered across here. I don't see it touching. It just goes into here, and then from here the wire is heading out. Sorry. Number four heads to the positive, and that's what I've done here. I know it's not neat, but, you know, whatever. So the, the prong here is soldered to here, and it goes out this way, okay? Number five is not used. I just have it bent down. Number six... Now, 
as I learned earlier in this video, these are a lot wider than just, you know, two holes in length. So I had to kind of expand it here. So the wire comes from here and heads out this way and then up this way. Okay. And again, I just use the the leads from the from the LEDs here. Or sorry, the, the resistors. So this wire here heads out this way and it connects here and connects here, okay? So what I did was when I soldered this resistor, I just had it going to here and and you know, connecting it to here. And then uh, this um, diode, sorry, my daughter's going crazy right now. This diode goes here, okay? So these two are in parallel with each other. Okay, on this, it goes down here, and then down here, and then down here, okay? So from number seven, you have this other resistor here, which heads out to the positive. And that's what I've done here. See this this resistor has to go up this way to the positive. Okay, so that's from the seven right here. It heads out and goes up this way. Because right here it's uh, soldered and then it heads out to this wire. Okay, and then it heads out this way. Okay, so number eight just goes to the positive. And that's what this wire here is. So you have the positive of number four and number eight are both heading this way and they join together this way along with this resistor from number seven. And this resistor is, it pops out this way here and that's what this is and this is all soldered together and it goes out. I cannot see what I've done wrong. I I do not understand. But when I do the you know connect the negative from the LED from the negative on the chip, I'm gonna twist these together here. And then I'm going to do the positive and touch these together. Oh crap. There we go. Ah, sorry. Twist these together more. Okay. So positive, positive, negative, negative. I'm going to touch this 9 volt battery lead here to the negatives. And then the positive goes to here. And that is not strobing, it's totally solid. Okay. Now, the capacitor has, a, I think, a positive and a negative, I guess. I have, like, the longer um, coming out and attached to the negative. Um, I, that's the way I had it on the breadboard, and it worked. I don't know if this is upside down. I, I, I took pictures of the breadboard before I, I did anything, and it seemed to, you know... I, I'm pretty sure I got this just right. <sighs> this diode, is this polarized? Do I have this? I did look at the picture, and this little black stripe here was over here. Do I need to change this? Do I need to switch this around? Is this the problem here? Please let me know. Uh, I, I, I cannot see any problems with my soldering. You know, I have a clean wire connection going to here. I don't see any sort of connection. I don't see how it would, uh, uh, maybe it would short out or, or it just wouldn't light up, perhaps. I don't know. Um, these soldering points, 
seem to not be conflicting with each other. I don't know. If anybody can spot the problem here, please let me know. Thanks. Bye.